Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. We're in our final segment, want to thank Bank Hometown for being our sponsor. We were pleased to have with us a couple members of their leadership team with us on their first segment to talk about their small business initiative as well as some of the things that Bank Hometown is doing in the community with their neighbor to neighbor program and the community harvest to help uh, issues of food security for individuals and families in the region. In our second segment, we had Bree Asia, who uh, uh, is the owner and founder of Bree's Sweet Treats, which is at Worcester Public Market, and it's the holiday season, so she's got lots to offer in terms of holiday treats. And in our final segment, we've got Dave Hart from Mastodon uh, Moving. Uh, he's the sales manager there, and yes, if somebody sir. is wondering what a Mastodon is, you've got the fleece with the logo on. Thank you. So yes. it's kind of like an elephant uh, with some extra uh, muscle. Smaller, hairier cousin, I think, is a good way to describe okay. it. Okay, yeah. the Mastodon is the smaller, hairier, co uh, hairier <laughs> cousin of the elephant. Well, welcome, Dave, and, and Mastodon Moving. Uh, a moving company, correct? Yes, sir. Moving, storage, packing, logistics. Um, we're uh, located in uh, Westboro, Mass. Uh, we service New England and we go all over. Recently, we've been uh, to as far flung as exotic places as uh, Seattle, Miami, um, California, and uh, Lowell. So, uh, yeah, we go all over. So, in many ways, kind of the, the best of both, both worlds when you think about, uh, you know, moving and kind of having a kind of a, a contact or, or, or a local. So you're here in central Massachusetts, headquartered in Westboro, but the ability to work with homeowners, uh, businesses, and literally moving things and st stuff and, and people uh, across the country or uh, beyond. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we get into uh, uh, all kinds of situations. We're uh, upfront and personal with people, and uh, it's a, a great way to greet and meet <laughs> uh, fi uh, you know, clients and customers alike. Yeah, and so I, I guess, you know, um, obviously you, you, you're, you're the sales manager, you're, you, you work for Mastodon, so you've got a certain uh, perspective and, and want to compete and get the business. But look, if somebody's going through this process, they, for, for, for professional or personal reasons, they've got to relocate. How do they, would you suggest that they go about their due diligence and how do you think that they would then end up with Mastodon? Well, due diligence is the right uh, way to describe it. Um, there are all kinds of moving companies out there. There are large organizations, corporate types, and there are also man and van type groups starting up every day. Um, it's a very competitive business. Uh, and I think that just um, uh, having a conversation with a moving company is a great way to fill them out. Obviously, you can check out their website. You can also ask for referrals. I've often given out uh, clients information of people that we've moved recently that prospective clients would like to talk to. Um, but also, um, you know, you can get in touch with the DOT, check out the, the, the legitimacy of these companies, and, uh, you know, just uh, do the work, basically. Yeah. And, and just some of the things that you just you know referenced are, are important. Number one, you want to make sure that you know the the, the vehicles and the equipment that they've got are, are appropriately recognized and certified by kind of state agencies. Uh, uh, probably things like uh, insurance, right? As well. Yes, of course. You have to be licensed and bonded, and you have to have several different kinds of insurance to operate in the state of Massachusetts. Of course, we are uh, covering all those kinds of things. Right, and that's important because if invariably something happens as a mishap or a mistake or an event, uh, people want to be covered and make sure that uh, their their uh, personal belongings, their equipment, etc. Are protected absolutely and you know I think it's a mark of a, any kind of company not necessarily a moving company to make sure that if things don't go well uh, that you are covered and you do have resources to make sure that you can take care of your clients right and so an individual or business looking to move uh, uh, they do their due diligence they they come to Mastodon and begin a conversation with you kind of what is the the process in terms of assessing you know how and what gets moved and, and when? yeah if you haven't moved in a long time, I mean, it's not the kind of service you're going to use very often. Uh, and people come to us uh, a little green, and, you know, we, we, we steer them. And with our help, we get them to ask the right questions. It's important to, uh, you know, understand what the costs are and what we're getting into. Now, for me personally, when I go out and I do a walkthrough with a client, um, I'm not uh, optimistic about how things are going to go. I don't use wishful thinking right. to figure on, you know, the, the best course of action. Uh, I, and I think it's a bit of a disservice for some moving companies out there to try and be competitive and tell the client it'll be a little bit less than the next guy because they want to get the job. For me, um, I, I want you know, complete transparency and I want them to understand 
uh, that um, it's not an easy task, you know, yeah. what we do, and more importantly for the clients, it's not an easy task to get ready for what we come in to do. So that's a lot of the conversation, a lot of the, the information we, you know, we want to share. Being, yeah, it's a, a, a lot of planning. There's a, there's work to be done. Uh, it's an inconvenience, and and you know you don't. You know, it sounds like you don't sugarcoat that. No, no. I, as I said, I think it's a disservice for the client. They need to know what they're getting into as far as a budget for you know right. what's going to happen. And uh, there's all kinds of moves out there. You know, we do large five, six family uh, bedroom homes, and single piece moves. So between that, you know, range, there's a, there's a lot going on. Some folks don't have an idea as to what they have. Also, like I said, if you haven't moved in a long time, right. There's a lot of new things to think about. Um, I've had you know, people who've called me from studio apartments and said, oh, I've got so much stuff. I said, well, how many boxes didn't you have? Oh, oh 12. You know, and then I get to the next phone call. It's a guy who's in a five bedroom home in Western. And I said, well, do you have a lot of stuff? And he goes, no, we don't have much stuff. Yeah. A full five bedroom house. Also, it depends on how long you've lived there. Right. If you've been in your studio uh, apartment for a couple of months, you might not have accumulated a lot of right. stuff. If right. you've been in a four bedroom house for 20 years, I get to know that that's going to be a pretty, you know, right. serious undertaking because I know how people are. We accumulate as we go and we don't throw out much stuff either. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Uh, and, and part of that uh, process, um, you talk about that transparency, going through the analysis, the walkthrough, engaging, uh, moving coverage insurance. Is that something sure. we talked a little bit about that at the beginning, but is also, is that something that potentially is part of a, of a move. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the more established a company is, is the better handle they should have on that kind of coverage protection. Uh, everyone uh, that does business in the state of Massachusetts is supposed to and uh, is legally obliged to offer uh, a basic amount of insurance, which is essentially 60 cents per pound per article. Not a lot of coverage on an individual piece, but basically enough or uh, sufficient insurance to cover what we would call a catastrophic loss in the event of a truck going off a bridge or something weird like, like, like yeah, an entire crazy, loss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in addition to that, um, some moving companies offer additional insurance. We certainly do, and uh, we recommend clients take it. Got um, it. It's just a good way to be, and it's good for their peace of mind and um, anything we can do to make them feel better and more secure about the process, that's uh, definitely worthwhile. So Dave, we just got a minute. We talked a lot, a lot about kind of the, the residential piece. I uh, assume is also work with businesses. That, that might oh, be for sure. Yeah, we're um, uh, uh, we're doing a lot of loss work these days, working with insurance companies and, and, and contractors. We are the guys that pack out fire and water losses, uh, and uh, we hold those items at our facility. Once the contractor has got in and done all the work and made the place right, we bring everything back. We lay floor runners. We prep the home and then we put everything back in the right place, even to a point where sometimes we'll take photographs of uh, like a, uh, an ornate china cabinet set up, but we can recreate it exactly right. um, after, after the accident. So the insurance stuff uh, with us is great. Uh, it gets us into more homes, which gets us more residential and right. more sort and of the storage work. as well. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, Dave Hart, sales manager, Mastodon Moving. Thanks for being with us. You're very welcome. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, too. Uh, and thank you for being with us on this edition of Chamber, Ex Chamber Exchange, a TV show brought to you by Bank Hometown. Mm -hmm.